In today's Health Watch, we're tracking an issue impacting one in every five people in eastern North Carolina, the rising cost of insulin. WNCT's Jessica Joel joins us now in the studio with how the drug use to treat diabetes is affecting people in our area. Jessica. Insulin is not optional for diabetics. It is a life-saving drug that they have to take every day or risk severe complications. Yet because of the soaring costs, some are now treating it like it is optional. The cost has more than doubled in the past five years. The sticker price of a vial of one form called Humalog was $21 in 1996 and is now $255. I went to local health experts to see how this is affecting people in the East. ECU family physician Dr. Thomas Ellis says some of his patients are risking their lives to accommodate the price increases. You don't find out about this until the patient comes back to you for a visit and all of a sudden their hemoglobin A1C, their control is bad. What happened? What happened? Well, I stopped taking my insulin. I cut back on my insulin. I'm trying to do this with my diet now because, you know, it, I can't afford the insulin. A group of congressmen is now calling on the Justice Department to investigate the rising costs and possible price collusion, a claim insulin makers reject. Coming up at 630, you'll hear from a local mother struggling to afford insulin for her son. Jessica Jewell, 9 on your side.